Wes Fryer and it is March the 9th, 2021. I thought I'd do a quick quick video tonight about making a cobbler. Um, I love making cobblers. I got started loving cobblers when I was in Scouts and you know I went to Philmont a, uh, as a camper, as a, as a kid, and as an adult, and I was a ranger two, two summers uh, when I was at the Air Force Academy, and the, the, the highlight, uh, usually, well, a big highlight, was when uh, the night you left your crew, you would make a peach cobbler, and so I have lots of good memories of cobblers. So today, um, I actually don't, don't have two cans of peaches, but usually um, I love to make a peach cobbler and do all kinds of cobblers. I'm gonna make a little experiment and use some crushed pineapple because I don't have two cans of peaches, and I think, you know, we're just gonna kind of experiment and see. Uh, Bisquick is what I'm using uh, today. Um, you can actually use biscuit mix. I've just used a cup of Bisquick. Um, what I like to do is just put the juice, and I don't like to get heavy syrup, I get light syrup peaches, and uh, mix the juice in uh, with, with a cup of the um, Bisquick. Um, I've also put about a quarter cup of brown sugar in here. Um, I will sprinkle some more brown sugar and then I'll also put some cinnamon sugar on top. Um, but if there's not enough juice, which I didn't have two cans today, um, I actually just put a little milk. If you are camping or you don't have milk, you can just use water. Um, but hey, we're at home and uh, I've got milk, so we're gonna do that. And um, the order is kind of important here. So what I'm gonna do, I've been preheating the oven to 350. Um, I am going to, I've put my, my little uh, sort of, it's not even a half Pyrex, I don't even know what size it is, it's a small Pyrex dish, and I've put um, about a quarter stick of butter in there to melt it, kind of like I do with an oven pancake, and so what I'm going to do with the order of stuff is, I'm going to pour my mix in, uh, and then I'm going to put my fruit in on top of that, and then I'm going to season, uh, season it, I will top it with a little cinnamon sugar um, and a little brown sugar and then we're going to try to bake it for 30 minutes and we'll see how that does. I think that's going to be pretty good. By doing it in this order, by putting in the butter and then, then the mix and then the fruit, um, it's really going to let the the uh, the cobbler breading uh, really just kind of you know bake all around and I think be pretty awesome. So I'm going to put this in the oven for 350 and uh, we'll check back in a little bit. All right, we've cooked for 30 minutes and looks pretty good. Let's test it here. Mm, not quite done, so we'll do it 15 more minutes. Okay, we have cooked for over 45 minutes at 350 and we look perfect. So we could, of course, let this cool off a little bit. That might not be that bad of an idea. So I think I will. I think I'll let it cool just a little bit and then we'll serve. Okay, we've cooled off a little bit. It's time to serve. So come on in. You gotta come in closer.
good flavor. It's delicious. You stink, Moose.